Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So somebody messaged me with a question, what is the best indoor video camera that I can get out there? I'm now gonna be going back into the office and I wanna keep an eye on my pet. The most important things to me are video quality and audio quality. Cost really doesn't matter. I'm okay paying a subscription. And to be honest, I didn't really know the answer because I haven't really tested all of, say, the big name brands out there. So I thought I would do that in today's video. I'm gonna start out by just going over some of the differences between the cameras that we're gonna be talking about, and then we're gonna go right into the demos. I don't wanna make this video too long, but here are the three cameras we're gonna be talking about in today's video. We have got the Google Nest Cam. This is the indoor wired version. This comes in at $100. We have got the Arlo indoor camera. This comes in also at $100. And then we have got the Ring indoor camera. This comes in at $60. So these cameras right here average anywhere between $50 to $100. Now I know there are cheaper indoor cameras out there, but we're not gonna be covering those in today's video. If you wanna know more about some of the cheaper cameras, specifically the Wise Cam version three for $35, or the Blink Mini for $35, I did do a video comparing both of those together, where I went into features and we deep dived into both of those cameras. I will link that above if you guys wanna check out those cheaper cameras. But I thought in today's video, we would go into some more of the expensive cameras, hoping to get some of the best quality out there. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to start off by saying that with all of these cameras here, these are all 1080p cameras and they do all have to be plugged in. Now with each of these cameras, they do have subscription fees attached to them. With Arlo, that is going to be $3 a month per camera, or you could spend $10 and that is going to cover all of your cameras. And that is going to give you event-based recording for 30 days. Now with Ring, Ring is going to be the exact same. It's gonna be $3 a month per camera, or it'll be $10 a month for all of your cameras, and that's going to give you 60 days of event-based recording. What that means is that anytime it detects motion or sound, it will record for a certain amount of time, and then it'll stop recording. So you're only getting event-based recordings. Now, with the Nest camera, you're gonna pay $6 a month, and that is going to cover all cameras. Whether you have one camera or you have 10 cameras, $6 a month will cover all of your cameras with 30 days of event-based recording. Now, with Nest, you also have the option of paying $12 a month. That will also cover all cameras. It'll give you 60 days of event-based recording, and it's also going to give you 10 days of 24-7 recording. To me, 24-7 recording is amazing. It's something that I really like. For $12 a month to cover all of my cameras, to me, I think that is the best option out there. Now, as far as 24-7 recording with the other brands, Ring does not offer 24-7 recording at all. With Arlo, if you want 24-7 recording, it's going to be an additional $10 a month, and that is going to give you 14 days of 24-7 recording, or you can spend an additional $20 a month, and that is going to give you 30 days of event-based recording. Now that is going to be on top of the current subscription plan that you are already paying for. Now I wanna talk about web portals. This is the ability for you to check your cameras on a web browser. So in addition to viewing it from the app, you can also check it from the web. Ring and Arlo are going to allow you to do that. Nest does not provide that option, or at least not that I could find. Now the next feature I wanted to talk about is timestamps on your videos. I bring this up because some people use these as actual security cameras and if they catch somebody doing something bad, you can submit these videos in a court case, things like that. But if there's no timestamp on it, you can't use it. So timestamps with these three brands right here. Yes, you can do timestamps with Ring. I could not find the ability to do timestamps with Arlo or Nest. So keep that in mind, Ring is the only one you could do timestamps with. Now, lastly, I wanted to talk about unique features with each one of these cameras. First off, we're gonna start with Ring. Ring offers a feature called Snapshot Capture. And essentially what that does is you can set it up to take a picture every 30 seconds, every minute, every three minutes, and it strings all of those together to create kind of a time lapse. So even though you maybe not have 24 seven recording, you could enable this feature right here and kind of scrub through almost as if you did have 24 seven recording. It's a pretty cool feature. Next up, I wanted to talk about a feature with Nest. Nest offers three free hours of recording. So this is going to be event-based recording, but for th a three hour stretch, it will record anything event-based for free. So you do not have to have a subscription. 
for anything happening within those three hours. But outside of those three hours, it's just gonna delete anything that's old. So you are going to want to have a subscription to keep anything over three hours. And last on the list, we have the Arlo Outdoor Camera. That camera has an actual physical privacy shutter. So when that camera is disarmed, it'll close the shutter so nobody can see anything. When your camera is in armed mode, it'll open up that shutter and record everything you see. Now, if you bring up a live view with the shutter closed, it will open up that shutter. But other than that, when it is disarmed, that shutter is going to be closed. Okay, so that's a brief comparison between these three cameras together. I don't wanna go in depth into any of them because I don't want this to be a super long video. You can do your own research after that and watch actual videos on each individual project. I just wanna do a very top end comparison of these cameras. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the shots during the daytime. All right, we have got our three cameras set up. We're gonna be running the daytime test right now. I'm gonna walk all the way back to the end of the kitchen. It's gonna be about 25 feet but I wanted to kind of gauge what the cameras are looking at right now. Look at the patterns on the couch over here. That's gonna be a good indicator on quality, how well those stick out. But let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like walking all the way back and the audio test. This is the ring audio test from 10 feet away. All right, so we're about 10 feet away from the cameras right now. I wanted to show you guys what they look like during the daytime. We're gonna back up all the way over here to about 25 feet. So I'm at 25 feet away from the camera. What it looks and sounds like all the way from back there. Now I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see, but that is what these cameras look and sound like during the daytime. Now we're gonna take a look at them individually at nighttime so that way their infrared sensors don't interfere with each other. All right, we're gonna start out with the Nest camera. So here I am about 10 feet away at nighttime. It is pitch black in here. I just hope I don't run into any furniture, but that's what it looks like from 10 feet away. I feel where the counter is right here. Now we're gonna back all the way up here. So now you can see me at 25 feet away. I'm gonna show you guys if I'm you know, walking over here or anything like that. But that is what the camera looks like from 10 feet to 25 feet. Let's take a look at the next camera. All right, now we're taking a look at the ring camera. So this is what it looks like at nighttime. Here I'm standing 10 feet, let's back all the way up. We're gonna go all the way back here to 25 feet away. This is what it looks like at 25 feet away with this camera. Here in audio too, if you want to, obviously not the best on this one, but this is what the ring camera looks like at night. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last camera. Okay, we are testing out the last camera here. So we have got the Arlo camera. This is what it looks like 10 feet away. Let's back all the way up here. We're gonna go back to 25 feet. So here we are, 25 feet away. How well are you able to see me on the Arlo camera at 25 feet away? So that is what it looks like. Let me come back up here to 10 feet just to give you guys another look. This is at 10 feet away. All right, what'd you guys think of the demos? I gotta say I'm a little surprised on the outcome of some of the stuff right here. Let's go through what we saw. So during the daytime shots, I thought Ring had the best image. The patterns on the couch looked really good, and at a distance, I thought it squeaked out past Nest. But I thought Nest did good too. It was nice and clear during the daytime shots. It was a little darker than the Ring camera, but overall, I thought it was a good image. And then as far as Arlo, I thought it was the blurriest out of the three. Now, as far as audio goes, I was really surprised with the outcome right here. I thought Ring was pretty terrible, especially when you compare it to the other cameras, you can see how bad it is. Now, I thought Nest did a really good job. It sounded nice and loud and clear, but when we compared it to Arlo, I thought Arlo sounded a little bit better. It wasn't as echoey as Nest. It was nice and it had a really good microphone, I thought, on it. So for me, I thought Arlo did the best as far as recording audio to the video. Now, as far as using the two-way talk from listening at 10 feet away and then from 25 feet away, Ring was terrible. It sounded like I had the microphone in my mouth and I held it at the same distance as I did for all the shots. 
Ring was absolutely awful. I thought that Nesta and Arlo both sounded good, but if I had to pick a winner, I would probably pick Arlo because it just sounded a little bit more clear when I was talking of actually what I was saying. But between the two, they were both really good. And then lastly, as far as the night demos, I thought that Nest did the best. It stayed the clearest all the way back. Ring lost some quality during the nighttime. It wasn't as clear as their daytime shots were. And then to me, Arlo was still as blurry as it was. So that's my takeaway from looking at the demo shots. What did you guys think? Out of looking at these three cameras, which one did you like the best? I thought Ring probably had the best video, but the worst audio. I thought Arlo had the best audio, but the worst video. And then Nest just kind of sat in between both of those. Now, to me, I'm looking at image quality. That's probably the thing that people are gonna prioritize the most. And between Nest and Ring, I didn't think there was a giant difference between the video quality there, except at nighttime. Nest was a lot better. So I would say out of these three cameras, if you are looking for the best audio and video combination, it's gonna be the Nest Cam. But what do you guys think? Doing these comparison videos are pretty fun, so let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see compared to each other. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.